It's Mr. Ed here, and today is August the 4th, 2023. I know you are expecting to see the video that I made. It's actually, the video was made over five years ago um, about, and, and that video was used, parts of that video were, were used on one of a series that Discovery had, had produced back four or five years ago on, on um, invasive animals and bees just happened to be part of that and, and so segments of the video that, that you are about to see um, were taken from that. It, it was really a great experience for me because uh, they, they, the producers of the program got in touch with me and they flew me out to, to Dallas for a couple of days and interviewed me and the the uh, then they, they they did the production of the of the video and and, and used uh, my parts of the video in it. And they actually put me in the video as well uh, during that interview. And a funny part of, of that that story is that about a year ago, there's two of the brothers here, two of the monks here at the Abbey, are from Brazil, and they told me that their family down there had seen that episode of that Discovery Channel. I, I forget the name of the series, what it was called, um, but they saw me on it and, and I was talking in Portuguese and they asked me, when did you learn how to speak, speak Portuguese? So yeah, I guess it's in different languages as well. But anyway, we are going to get to that, get to that video. But prior to, to getting to that video, there's a couple of things I, I wanted to talk about. And by now you know that tickets for the North American Honey Bee Expo, or what, what people are referring to it as the Navi, um, they already have gone on sale. In fact, they went on sale last night at about 7.30 uh, Eastern Time, and no, Central Time. And the Dirt Rooster called me up and goes, man, you know, them tickets are on sale now. And I said, no, I didn't know that. I knew they were coming up. And, and uh, uh, he said, yeah, it's only been on for an hour and they've already sold like 500 of them already. So if you plan on going to that conference, that expo, uh, the dates are January 4th, 5th, and 6th of 2024. By the time this video is posted, which will be next Friday, uh, hopefully there may be a few tickets left, but at, at the rate they're going right now, and I think there's only 2,000 of them to be sold, it, it may already be sold out. So. Hopefully you'll be able to get get to the to to be able to go because I'm I'll definitely be going and it's going to be a, a great great time. The other thing I want to talk about uh, in September of this year, uh, September 23rd and the 24th, I will be speaking at the Be Alive conference in Slidell, Louisiana, and, and Slidell for me that's only 35 miles from me, so it's like. If, if you're in the area here in Southeast Louisiana and you want to come hear a bunch of great speakers, in fact, a bunch of them that will be at, at, the, at the North American V Expo, uh, they're going to be there. Bob Benny will be there, uh, Randy uh, Snook, he'll be there, Dirt Rooster will be there, Yappy will be there, uh, who else? I'll be speaking. And there's a couple of those other ones I just remember off the top of my head. But that's September 23rd and 24th um, in Slidell, Louisiana. I'll put a link to that website on um, this video. So if you go in the description, that'll be in there. Um, so if, you, if you're in the area, Slidell, Mississippi, uh, New Orleans, Homer, Lafayette, Baton Rouge. I mean, that's that's a close enough ride if you want to come see a bunch of uh, of YouTube personalities and learn a little bit about beekeeping. There's vendors there. It should be a really great little conference. It's the first time it's happened, and who knows, you know what what it'll grow into. And especially, I like it because it's so close to the house. So what I'm going to do today is, all right, still before we get into the video, um, I need to take care of these supers that had, um, uh, these are our honey supers that had brood laid in them. And 
what I'm going to usually what I've been doing with these things the last couple of years I've just been scraping the, the wax off these frames and as you can see this frame had had brood laid in it and what I'm trying to do is save the cone instead of scraping it and and then just melting it down I'd rather keep the comb on the frames and so what what a beekeeper up here Kenny told me that he does and he's been doing it for the last two years is he takes any of the supers honey supers that brood was laid in he separates the frames out just like I do and he will then go put those boxes on top of his strongest hives and that way the bees will actually patrol it and not let the moss get in it then in November when I go out and pull any of my hives that have three supers on that are left like I got one right here and there's another one down there I probably got about 20 or 25 hives out there that are in that condition uh, when I pull those supers off spin that honey out or do whatever I do with the honey and then store those supers I'll at that time pull these supers off and put them with the rest that way come springtime these will become uh, my second box on my brew box for my splits when I do my splits so that's that's how I'm going to handle my my brood comb um, this year instead of scraping it off I'm going to be putting it on strong hives and letting the bees take care of it instead of the wax moth get it so that that's that's my plan but today since I've only got three boxes two of the boxes I'm going to put here at the Abbey and then the other box the other 10 frames I'm going to bring to my house and put in my long hive because I'm, I'm now nine frames short in that one so I'm just going to refill it with these a lot of good strong hive in there and so they'll be able to take care of that all right so that's that's all the announcements um, get your ticket for the North American Honey Bee Expo and if you're in the Slidell area southeast Louisiana the Hive Alive conference on the 23rd and 24th uh, those are those are upcoming events so without any further ado let's get into this video now one thing you're gonna you're gonna see now this is five years ago so you have to you have to uh, remember that uh, I might be looking a little bit different I know one thing for sure is I don't have a beard on that one and you're gonna love who is in the video with me I'm not gonna say who it is you just have to find out all right, let's check out what that video looks like. Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is June 17th, 2017. I got Wreck-It Ralph right here next to me. Ralph, get in there here. Come on, there you go. There he is right there, Wreck-It Ralph. And uh, today we're in Covington, Louisiana. Uh, we're going to be removing some bees underneath a trailer. And this is a pretty, um, pretty big hive, I think. Uh, the comb is actually already busting through uh, the bottom of the insulation so we'll cut the insulation and uh, expose the hive and do some vacuuming and uh, hopefully by the grace of God these bees right here they're gonna be again going home with Ralph again this week and uh, he'll be having some new bees up in Ponchatoula so let's do some wrangling here we go oh, first, I mean, before we do the wrangling I'm gonna go ahead and show you the the colony the, the hive underneath there before we cut it open and then I'll show you let me grab the camera and show you what we got well, you can see there's there's our bees clustered underneath here. It's very overcast um, this morning um, and spotty rain showers. Hopefully, will that won't be a, an issue for us or the bees right here. And so here's what we're looking at. And that hive goes all the way. To that big beam right there. I shot the uh, thermal camera here uh, about two weeks ago when I came up and looked at this and it stops. At least that's what the camera said. It stops right there at that, that big beam. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and start the vacuuming and uh, get these bees moved to Ponchatoula.
Folks, can you believe this? It's like we're on a roll with these big old beehives right now. Look at the size of this thing. That has got to be three by three. I would say the good thing about it, it's only a two by six. Um, so it's not really, really um, deep comb, but there is a lot of it. Those are all the honey stores, but I, these bees swarmed recently. And, uh, and so most of these stores are gone. There's not a lot of honey in here. But oh my gosh, that is a big hive. All right, it's time to do some more vacuuming. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. This is one reason Mr. Ed loves to wrangle bees to see this. Well, we've got half of it taken out so far. We've been at it probably, how long we've been here, Ralph? Hour and a half? An hour and a half. Yeah, so we got, we got the, the honeycomb has been removed and we filled, oh my gosh, a bunch. Uh, we, we've got Ralph's tote pretty much uh, filled up the bottom and my 48 quart is full up two to the bottom. So now we still got All these bees right here in comb to remove. Oh, yeah, they all come up here. And uh, Ralph is removing a little bit more of the uh, plastic insulation to kind of like prevent the bees from running up like they did before. And uh, so trying to make do a little preventive maintenance here. All right, we're going to get back to it. You want to show them this side? Oh, yeah, Ralph says to show you all this side. Let's see what it looks like. Now look at that, folks. The bees, as we're vacuuming, they always will run to the back of the of the hive. So what what we've done is Ralph's going and cut the insulation right here, and then stuffed stuffed it back there so that it doesn't give the bees any more place to run. So we're going to vacuum these bees right here, and then we're going to start cutting comb. But it's looking really good. I think we still got about another hour and a half of work here, but we'll get it. Well, folks, can you believe this? What is that crawling in that cage there, Ralph? It looks like a queen. Ooh-wee! She's a big one, too. 
folks. We've been vacuuming now. Oh, it's got to be two hours. And uh, we've cut that comb pretty good. And uh, I think there's two or three more big pieces still in there. And uh, the bees, uh, purposely we do that to get the bees to cluster on one side. And uh, I said, come on, Ralph, we're gonna start grabbing bees. And I probably was a third handful of them. Uh, uh, we didn't see her, but she fell on the ground. And uh, as I was sitting on the ice chest, said, there she is, Ralph. And we nabbed her. So by the blessings of God, go Ali. He gave us a queen for the bees. Oh man, that's super. All right, I'm taking a break right now, but we're gonna get back to it. Man, that is good. Now folks, we have got this thing done. Look at that. There is so much robin going on now. Unbelievable. And that's part of the problem about doing cutouts after the nectar flow is over because it really just encourages the robin bees. So hopefully I'm not gonna have to do any more outside cutouts. Because that's when, when you cut them out on the outside like this and expose everything to the, to the exterior, the robbing is fierce, fierce. Man, look at this, look at, look at our cutting board. I mean this, the whole air is just full of robber bees right now. There's just so many bees. Look on, look on the tub right there. All the bees flying around it. And these, these aren't from this high. These are robber bees. There's just so many bees uh, in this area right here. Unbelievable. It really is. It's unbelievable. All right, we're going to go ahead and start picking up our mess. And uh, I'll show you what we got when we clean things up a bit. All right, getting everything picked up. Ralph doing all the hard work, loading up the truck, and uh, we're just about out of here. I mean, the bees are flying everywhere. Speaking of bees, let me show you what we got vacuumed up. Folks, I guarantee this is every bit of 30,000 bees, every bit. We have the queen, actually, she's already in the brew box, and uh, Ralph will be releasing her tomorrow. All right, well, that's all we have for you today. Um, so thanks for watching. For me and Ralph, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. And I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video.